Hi, my name is Marley. I am an occupational therapist here at Innovative Services. Today I'm going to show you a variety of activities that use different ways to move to change your energy level. There's a corresponding written activity you can do to help your kids keep track. So you'll take a piece of paper, draw a line down the middle, on one side write movement and on one side write energy. And then you're going to help your kids identify different directions they can move. The first direction is up and down. Next, you can move left and right. Next, you can move kind of back and forth. You can represent these how you think might your child might understand more. I think they're hard to differentiate except with words and with movement to help learn. You can move round and round, circle, and you can move upside down. These are the different ways to represent different movement. In this exercise, this uh, rest of this video, I'm going to be going over exercises and labeling them. You can pause in between and have your kid reflect. So if you've just done up and down movements, I want them to reflect and say uh, what their energy level is after the up and down movement. So if your energy up, after up and down lowers, you feel less energy, then you can put a down arrow. After left and right movements, if you feel more energy, you can put a more. After back and forth, you can say less or more. After round and round, maybe you feel more. After upside down, maybe you feel more. Um, and you can go from there. Then you can use this if you keep this picture. When your kid's bouncing off the walls and just wanting to move, 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 have them do these movements. You can either do them in order, say, go up and down, left, right, back and forth, round and round, upside down, do them again. Or you can say, let's do all of your ones that decrease your motion. Let's go up and down. Let's go back and forth. Those are the down ones for this, this example. Or your kid's really tired and they need some energy so they can learn. They're just wanting to lay around. Let's do all the ones to bounce up your energy. Let's go left and right. Let's go round and round. Let's go upside down. I think this is a really good tool I like using with kids and teaching kids. You can teach them it um, just a few times and they usually get it and want to implement it on their own. I also really like to do a routine where you pick one from each and you do one from each and then the next time you do all just one type. So yeah, there are lots of ways to play with it and I hope you like follow along and enjoy this video playing with me. Mm -hmm. 